Hey GED students. Um, so I've got a student, Skylar, who had a question about a pretty interesting probability problem. So thought I'd work a little video on it. Um, just to let you know, uh, probability can come up on your math, science, or social studies test. Um, I'm expecting it to see it on science, uh, but fair game for any of those three tests. So let's take a look. It says, Alice and Finn roll two six-sided dice. Um, now, original problem said two number cubes, but I promise they're talking about dice. I looked back at their solution, and they're assuming that you're going to assume that dice are, in general, six-sided, unless you've been told otherwise. So, we're talking about those, you know, if you play Monopoly or any other game, those little six-sided cubes that have the dots on them, one, two, three, all the way to six. Okay, and then it says, which of the following rules will make the game fair? And that's an interesting question <clears throat> because um, they don't really say uh, what they are looking for here. They're a little obscure about it. Which of the following rules will make the game fair? But I know that it's going to be fair if the odds are the same for either player, whether I'm looking at Alice or I'm looking at Finn, that it should be the same probability that either one of them win. That would be fair. Um, and so what I'm really doing is I'm looking for uh, two times when we have the same probability. So like if you look at A, it says um, if the total is five, Alice wins. If the total is nine, Finn wins. When it's nine, Finn wins. Or, uh, and then we have some other choices just like that. If the total is seven, Alice wins. Whereas if it's eight, Finn wins and so on and so forth. So what would make this game fair? Equal odds. Okay, so how are we gonna figure out the odds? The first thing we really need to do is think about all the possible rolls if you're rolling two dice. So you could have the first die be a one. And if that was true, the second die could possibly be a one. Or the first die could be a one with the second die being a two, so on and so forth. I'm going to try out all the possibilities with the first die uh, being a one and all the other things the second die could be. Okay, that's one list of possibilities. Or it could have been that the first die was a two, and if that was true, the second die could have been a one, a two, a three. See how I'm pairing that possibility of a two on the first die with all the possibilities on the second die? And we're going to keep going like that. If the first die was a three, the second die could be anything. Whoops. Three, four. Can you see my pattern? Then a three with a five, then a three with a six. All the possibilities with the first die being a three. Now I'll try all the possibilities with the first die being a four, then all the possibilities with the first die being a five and a six. And it's possible that if the first die was a four, the second die could be anything one through six. So each one of these pairs here represents a possible roll. You get it? I could roll like a five on the first die and a one on the second die, and so on and so forth. Now I could do this with little dots instead of the numbers. I'm just too lazy to draw that many dots. <laughs> and let's round out these possibilities with everything that we could possibly get if the first die was a six. Okay, so now we have every possible dice roll. If you look at it across, we have the first die being the numbers one, two, three in the rows. And then if you look at it going down in columns, you can see there's all the ones for the second die, all the twos, all the threes, and so on. And so looking at this both ways, we end up with all the possible ones. So now I said, um, for it to be fair, there would have to be the same odds that Alice wins, where, um, they would have to be equal with the odds that Finn wins. So let's examine A. A has Alice getting a total of five and Finn getting a total of nine. Let's check out the odds for that. So first of all, let's go check out Alice. And I think I'll use different colors so you can see. Let's look at in red, all the possible totals of five. Let's see, one plus four would total five. Two plus three would total five. 3 plus 2 would total 5, and 4 plus 1 would total 5. So there's four rolls, four rolls out of a total of, let's see, 6, 12, 18, 24, 
30, 36. Four rolls out of 36 total rolls uh, would have Alice winning here. Now, uh, let us check out another color for Finn. So we can keep it separate, we'll do Finn in green. So for Finn, we are looking for totals of nine. So let's go take a look. Um, a totals of nine, let's see. My goodness, where's the first place? Two and six is too small. Here we go, three plus six is nine. Four plus five is nine. Five plus four is nine. Six plus three is nine. Looks like there's four rolls out of 36 total rolls. That would give me nine. Now look at this, same probability. That means this game is fair. A, A looks like a good answer. But just in case, let's go ahead and check B, C, and D. Let's go ahead and check B, C, and D. So I don't want to erase all my uh, numbers here because I want to be able to use them again. So humor me a little bit here, guys. Okay. So let's compare the next situation. Let's look at B. In B, we wanted Alice this time, we'll do her red again, uh, to get a total of seven. Alice, total of seven. So anytime we have a seven, Alice wins. So let's count up how many possible wins that is. Let's see, one plus six is a seven, two plus five is a seven, three plus four, four plus three, five plus two, and six plus one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, out of, of course, 36 possible rolls of seven. So she's got uh, better odds to get a seven than she did back there to get a five. Now let's take a look at the eights for Finn. We're comparing that with if eight Finn wins. So let's see totals of eight. So let's see two plus six, three plus five, four plus four, five plus three, and six plus two would give me a total of eight. That's one, two, three, four, five rolls. In this case, Finn would only have a possible of five out of 36 probability. Alice's probability is higher. That's not a fair game. I'm gonna rule out B. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Let's look at the other two examples. If you've already caught on, you could go ahead and ignore me and turn me off now, but I am just gonna finish this out just to make sure because there's no guarantee on the GED that um, it will be the first answer that you see, that will be the right one. So let's compare for C. C had uh, Alice winning if the total was three and Finn winning if the total was 10. So we'll try Alice first with our red, total of three. Let's see how many rolls are a total of three. Well, the only way to roll a three is to get a one and a two or a two and a one. There's not very good odds that you roll a three, just two out of 36 total rolls. Whereas in this case, Finn would win with a 10. Let's go check out the odds that Finn gets his 10. So totals of 10, let's see, four plus six would give me 10, as would five plus five or six plus four. Finn's got better odds with that situation. Three out of 36 is more than two out of 36. Finn is more likely to win here. That's not a fair game. And let's just take a look at our very last case here. Okay, last case we have is if the total is four, Alice wins. So we're looking for a four for Alice. Let's see, totals of four. One and three, two and two, three and one. I'll give us a total of four. That's odds of three out of 36 possible rolls. And then in this case, we wanted Finn to have mm, a 10. So if it's a 10, Finn wins. Four out of six, five out of five, six out of four. Looks like, unless I copied this problem down wrong, ah, I did, that was my problem. I copied this problem down wrong. Skylar, don't pay attention to me, but for the rest of you, both of these would be right answers. They both have equal odds. Uh, so with either one of those, A or D, that wouldn't happen to you on the GED. That's just because Kate made a little error as she was copying this problem. But D has the same odds, too. And if the total is 4, the odds for that were 3 out of 6. And the probability that you got a 10 was also 3 out of 36. So same odds, that's also a good possibility. Skylar, if you're looking at the real problem, you know that that actually said 11. 
not 10. And the odds that Finn gets an 11 are only 1, 2 out of 36. And so A was the right answer in your case. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.